Hello guys, this is John. Welcome to McLeod. And uh, today we will present to you uh, the new product, which is uh, the, the, this is an old product, the MP2400. So what we're gonna do today is we will teach you how to how to use it from the beginning up to the end that it will print. Okay. So let's turn it around. All right. So this is the printer. So we put the table over here so that when you print, it will just go there and we put this table you see this table so i bought the ten dollar uh cart there so i have all these tools and i put the laptop beside the printer so this is the simple setup when you try to make the print okay so all the printers that we sell before we send it to you we make sure that uh, it's running perfectly so like this this is our 182 printer and this is the nozzle check that we check okay before we send it to you so we have also the logo there. We have the phone number so that you can call us anytime if you have need service. So today, okay, I will talk to you how to install the AcroRip. So because we are still using the AcroRip because we don't want to, we don't want to alter the way you do things. So the first thing that we do, okay. So let's open a new file, open, and we have to use this one, okay. So now the file is loaded there. Okay, so we go to layout. So the original size is three inch. We can get it closer. It's three inch by two point fifty three. So that's the size of the of the of the logo. We have to put that in a polo shirt. So the first thing we do is to create a position. So in the in the in the output position here okay we put like uh, maybe half an inch to keep it away from the position see so it moves now the this image moves now from here to here okay then the next thing you do is to have it mirrored so i'll make it closer oh how can i do it like, okay there you go now i know how to submit so we make it uh mirror first so we mirror it you see it is mirror this is the original design that is the mirror it's too small because this this is a 24 inch okay that's three inches only that is for the follow then this is the most important thing that i would like to share to you so there's here the called repeat you see that repeat so along the x if you want to expand it okay all the, along the x all you have to do is put this one, put this, okay, a oh, little bit closer, okay, okay that's it, so we put it this one, we add it, see, as you add it, that's how you expand it, see, so I can make now like six logo each, but the distance are, the distance are, are okay, but if you want to put a distance here, because there's a spacing here of 0.75 from each other, okay? So I can put like one inch distance every 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 design. Let's put one inch now and look at this. So it extends now on one inch from each other. Now on the Y position, okay, in the Y position, let's go back here. So we have six there, two, four, six, okay? So two, four, six. So in the X position, we have six. And now, on the Y, okay, that's one. We make it two. You see what happened? It becomes double, right? So we make it three, four, five, six, seven. See, if you're making this logo, like two, four, six, two, four, six, seven. So right away, you can create that number of logo. And we can print it. Okay, so that's the number and you can add more. So this is uh, six by seven. Let's make it uh, six by six, okay. So that's six, okay. So that's six by six. So we will print a 36 inch, a 36 pieces of logo 
and the distance here so i put the spacing here so the distance between image is one inch this is the distance one inch and one inch you see that one inch and one inch and we have six on the x along the x is for six and along the y is a six so you know how to use this is one secret of the acro rip the repeat so everybody now who would like to create a lot of that you don't need to create a lot of designs on your photoshop just make one like this then you have to repeat it okay this is one secret that we know we never shared it to non macleod uh, customers but now that uh, we make it public right now so this is one secret of the repeat so if you want to have repeating the the number of that into six and into six and there's a spacing here okay so it's distributed by spacing so you know how to do you how to now you know how to know, to use this repeat okay so from that we're ready to go now we check the printer so that's correct that's our printer and i'll check the printer that is correct okay make sure what is the active printer here setting this is how you check what is your active printer printers and scanners so the active printer is copy one okay so we made that okay so we will print it with 720 by 720 so 1440 by 720 and the color this is the setting of our color 25% and 30% for the white okay and the white we make it not uh, we make it like 100% white under base okay now we're ready to go print and now we start to print ready want to print and so this is now the setting uh, everything's correct can you see here down there so the printer has 180 nozzle okay so if your printer is 90 nozzle for l1800 this one is 180 nozzle and now from that we print now it started to ripping it started to rip to rip the pile so that's how the process is so this is how easy to create a, a multiple uh, image in in acro rip so that with one image that you have on the left you can create now 36 pieces of that on the middle so he will rip it and after that it will go directly to the printer so this is our printer right now okay we have the light we have the light there to see what we're doing and we have a new solution right now which is chipless so it doesn't manage the chip this is the this is the remote okay which we can put the light off if you want to see can put the light off oh they see it's off so there's a remote and you can put it on okay so that's how it works so while ripping it's ripping it so the power of your computer depends also how fast you could process the the ripping of the of the software then it's 94 percent 96 100 percent now it's sending out the data to the printer so this is a mac you know there's there's a new mac right now macbook that was out in the market which is m1 so the all that uh, intel chipset uh macbook pro is just sold right now that use for this for chip one and uh, all you have to do is install a windows into this because you need a you see this is a mac okay so you can use a mac install a windows and install a mac uh, os and both these printers but you have to have an intel chip the old uh, macbook pro you can buy the old macbook pro and now it's printing already so the printer is moving and you will see how it works so that's how to use this mp2400 it has a roll like this so you don't have any problem loading the paper loading the sheets 
it will just print like that and it will just print continuously so we will watch how it prints I'll set up the camera properly there you go so it's starting to print like that So this is the first time we print. So we just do one hit cleaning. This is the first time it prints, so the white are not yet super white. But as we go along, because we just do one head cleaning, I should do it like twice maybe. So he's just sitting down, sitting out the, the initial uh, See how it prints, it's like gliding. So the first design is done, he's doing the second one. So this is like a long, I don't want to fast track the, the printing so that you can see the process of how it is uh, printing. You can count the speed. So with this printer, this is a 24 inch printer, but we can uh, put a 12 inch roll, we can put a 13 inch wide roll, a 17 inch wide roll, and um, next is a 24 inch. So uh, this printer can be painted also with a powdering machine with oven, so that uh, it produce, you don't have to do the powdering manually and it will produce you the transfer right there and there. So the end product is the transfers. So we have some transfers to show while waiting for that. Give you some samples. So I'll show to you some of the design that we did, that's printed already. Oh, this is the same thing, sorry. Okay, so we have this one. Look at this finished product. Look at this second finished product. Look at that. Look at the design. This is the other one too. So this is the finished product. It's already powdered. You see how vibrant the color is. this color so this is our design sample transfers which you can get it from our website this is free you just need to pay up shipping uh, maybe it's like two dollars 
So you can get this transfers and it's already powdered and ready to press to the shirts. So I will not explain to you how to powder it in, uh, anymore. So the process is the, the one that I show you is how easy to print on the 24 inch printer with this logo. So I need like this is 36 logo, six by six. So that's the way to print it. Printing a logo in a 24 inch printer, that's how easy. I'll just print like that. And this is the, the result of the DTF. Look this design. No printer screen, print screen can do this. Look at that. No print screen can do that. Only DTF. Even the DTG could hardly do this. Look at the design. Pretty good? Look at that, the color. Look at that. This. And so that's the logo that we are making right now. It's about to get out. So I need to remove these things. I don't uh, I don't do like uh, so much heat cleaning at the start that's why the prints are not so really white but uh, or maybe it's not like a gradient gradient white one Two, three, four. So how many this logo already? One, two, three, he finished three logo already. in the bottom once you hit in the bottom so we just need to move the table there you go so I would like to show you in the bottom see so you have to have this kind of table see this is you can buy it from Home Depot I have it it's adjustable I need to do like that so from there, while it's printing, you can cut some of it. If you print a lot, we will just print like that continuously. So this is how easy, guys, to use the 24 inch. It's very versatile. This is a production printer, a professional printer, a commercial printer, and this is a wide format printer too. So this is how easy to use this. So if you want to go into a t-shirt printing business, I suggest you go directly to this printer. We have a desktop model also, which is a 1700 for 17 inch wide, which is a using also a roll. That's a one recommended also if you don't have the space. But the space it takes is only like 24 inch here and 48 inch on the width. So that's all you need to do. And it has a, it has a, it has a wheel there so you can easily move this printer and yeah so like this uh, I put the table I have a lot of things inside there and I have to put my laptop here so way back here okay so this is how you do it you go to layout here and you use the repeat so our lesson right now is repeat so we use six by six and the spacing the distributed spacing we have put spacing of one inch from away from each other and look at this see so if you have some image you can do like that and print it continuously 
just with one image from the original one. Okay. So now it's printing because uh, I'm printing a logo because I want to decorate my my apparel here. So I have an apparel there. Okay. I'll put a logo here in the front on this uh, uniform of mine. So I'll put a logo over here. That's why I'm printing the logo. Okay. So this is our unlock this up. Uh, our blocks now for summer tie dye. This look at very sexy, very sexy lady. Look at that. So we back here. This is almost a 20 minutes uh, video, but uh, we're printing right now a six by six uh, logo. So as you see, how easy to print this one. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So we're printing on the last part already, okay? We're on the last part, almost on the last part. Very close now. So we'd like to see how these things work. So this is the powder. I recommended this powdering uh, cabinet. This is from uh, this is a sterilite from uh, you can buy it from a uh, Target. So this is the white. So you put the white over there. Okay. Okay, this is the black. This is the black powder. Look at this black powder. Oh, it's done. So it's done printing already, okay? So we're back. And here, by the way, we'll finish this. So this is where you put the supplies down there. And put it back. Okay. Oh, okay, there we go. So we're back here. So we pull this. So let's see the print, see? In a matter of like 10 minutes, we create 36 logos out of this uh, print. So all we have to do right now is bring it up. We will teach you how to operate this. Bring it up. Then that's the maximum. Then you just put here three seconds. One, two, three. There you go. And it cut. See, it cuts there. There you go. So this is our end product. You pull this up. Boop. There you go. So this is our first product. Okay. 36. 36 in a matter of 10 minutes. And look at this design, guys. Oops. Oh. Look at this design. See? So I cannot show it to you because I'm the only one. <laughs> and it's hard to bend this. So oh my gosh. I don't want to destroy the design. 36 pieces. Okay, up they go. So all you have to do right now is cut this and have it powdered. So I will not show to you how to powder it, okay? So the lesson for today is it's easy to print 36 logos in a matter of about 10 minutes and it's easy now to how to, to, to multiply it just with one logo when the customer sends you one logo you don't need to do that in Photoshop and create those things okay you just need to go to where to go repeat this is the secret here repeat then you repeat along X you repeat along Y you put the spacing in between and that's it okay so I hope you learned the lesson. You see how it 
easy to print a logo using the MP2400 from McLeod. This is a McLeod Gold. Alright, so buy your printer or trade your printer right now. We have a trade-in program. We will buy your printer as a useful price. Alright, bye.